Hi, my name is Taylor. I am the product manager here at Seamwork, and I am going to share with you today how I store my fabric. I don't know if you saw my sewing room tour, but um, in case you didn't, I currently have these two drawers underneath my couch um, that have all of my supplies in them. So the one on the left though has all of my fabric in it. Like that. So here's a look at my fabric stash. It's not very well organized, um, as you can see, but you know, that's how I do. Um, on the left, you see that I have some woven fabric. And in this one, I have all of my knits. Things that I don't necessarily really like about my fabric storage is that it's just really hard to access. Um, I live in a very small space, so finding little ways and tricks that I can store things away is really important because then I can still practice the lovely gift of sewing. But with that, um, I don't get to have it like out and all inspiring for me to see always either, which is kind of a bummer. Something that I do like about my current system is that it's just very clear. Um, there's only two ways of really organizing it and it's knit versus woven. It's pretty simple. Currently, my favorite cut of fabric is this gingham fabric linen from the fabric store. It I'm like kind of a little scared to do anything with it because it's so nice. Um, but ultimately I will do something with it this year, hopefully for the summer, maybe a button up or something. But um, it's just so lovely and has like a really nice like feel and it's just like a great little linen. Um, I'm also gonna show you the fabric I've probably had the longest um, in my stash and it has a little bit of a story. I feel like when I first started sewing, I was like really obsessed with like getting this stash in line so that I could reference and get things and just be ready to make anything on the moment at any time. Um, which is hilarious because it's probably been over five years since I've started sewing and um, still having this fabric on hand is hilarious to me, but I will use it one day. I just don't know when. Um, but it is this seersucker I don't know if I want to call it a gingham, but it's like a check, like a really tiny check, but um, I don't know. It's really nice. And I've been toying with a lot of ideas of what to use for it. I was thinking maybe a set, um, maybe like a, you know, like a cute short and a tank top or something, but um, I don't know. It has been there for a while though, and I'm not sure why I haven't used it. Do you have those fabrics that you're just like, why did I do that? Why did I think that was gonna be a good idea? Well, I'm gonna show you mine. Um, I bought this like ribbing. Um, wow, <laughs> this is a big contrast. Um, hello, hello again. I bought this ribbing um, and it's like some thick ribbing. It is like meant to be for um, jackets and things. It's in the round. Um, it's just a very sturdy ribbing. And I was like, oh, that would make such a cool sweater. And you know, it did make a cool sweater, but it just like, it is thick ribbing. You know, it's meant for cuffs. It's meant for collars. It's meant for bands. I don't know if it was necessarily meant to be made into a sweater, which is what I made it into, you know, and that's what's so cool about sewing is that you can literally make anything you want. But I do kind of regret that situation of what I did. Um, it's just really thick and bulky and not exactly what I was picturing, which, you know, you live and you learn. But I now have this ribbing that I could probably use for so many projects because I think I bought like four yards of it. Um, so go me. So for my final share, I'm going to share what I'm hoping to work on next, which is some underwear. Um, and I'm going to use this like super easy to work with um, Robert Kaufman Laguna knit um, in this gray, which might also be a contender for also being in my stash for the longest. I might have bought them in the same trip as the seersucker check that I showed earlier. Um, 
I love this fabric. It's super versatile. That's why I've never gotten rid of it because I knew one day I would find a project for it. And underwear I think is going to be a really good one. So I hope you enjoyed me sharing how I store my fabric in a tiny space. Um, luckily I do have the storage situation um, that I built into under my couch, but I'm sure I could have found something else. Boxes are super helpful, bins, um, even if you can just hide them under your bed or something. But yeah, that's how I do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any tips or any questions, let us know below. Mm -hmm.